I'm with the gang, bitch. I can't never beef about a bop, man. Fuck that lame, bitch. Pull up in my truck, I'm swinging, bitch. You know I lane switch. My niggas got the glizzy, yeah. We all up on the same shit. Just stay up in your lane, jit. This shit here can't get dangerous. Hey, man, this shit here can't get dangerous. So today, we're gonna be uh, switching gears. Um, about to go and take Gramps' new setup off to uh, Bladen Off Road to get mounted. All I'm gonna show y'all. I can't show y'all everything. I'm gonna have him show y'all everything. But you see the pioneers. They ain't no 35s either. We don't ride 35s. So you about to uh, get the setup to put on here. We'll be putting it on tomorrow. I'm not gonna show y'all the setup until he kind of posts it and you know shows it off. Are you fucking ready, my nigga? I'm not ready. It's too early this morning. But uh, yeah, we're about to take. A road trip. You see, I got two pioneers in here. You can fit 35s inside the truck, but 37s. Do you see this shit? He wasn't uh, able to do it, and I'm free on Fridays, so I just said, "Fuck it, I might as well take a road trip, help my nigga out." And uh, you know, that's that's kind of like I said, bro. This is what we do as a truck club. Like, if you need some shit, bro, I got you, or somebody in the club got you. So, I mean. That's what I be preaching, man. These other niggas, that's y'all founders and shit. They ain't doing this shit. Uh oh, I rep hard for my motherfucking game. What the fuck, nigga? Smoking flavors like it's Easter, but I just bought me a Maybach. Like cosmetologists, we put the glass right where it's face at. You know when you're in your head, hold it tight, just like a wave cap. And I ain't with the cap, and you ain't about it, nigga, say that. And I want all the smoke like I'm 50. And I'm swimming with the sharks like I'm Ripley. You little niggas, little league, I'm in the big league. I spit my pain inside a song, cause it fit me. And when I'm doing right, niggas say I'm doing wrong. Ain't fuck with me back then, now they wanna come. Alright, so we at Bleeding Off Road. One of the only people that I'll take my truck to for alignments and stuff. I don't know if you can see, but I got Gramp set up in there. Went ahead and unloaded everything. So I'm about to head back to the house, start on this lift kit. And then uh, whenever they call Gramp back, I'll come back and pick these up. And uh, these bitches going to look good. But I'm about to hit on the road and uh, got some business to take care of. So let's ride. All right. So working on a, uh, I think it's a 14 whatever whatever your model we're working on a uh, f-150 platinum uh putting a little leveling kit on it right now and uh i'm gonna try to get it uh at least leveled looking because right now it's kind of got a little nose dive to it i need to work with the alignment he said that uh the inside of his tires were wearing and uh you can kind of see that they're kind of cambered in a, a good amount so i'm gonna try to get that camber pulled out just enough where he can at least get it to the alignment shop and get it on the a little computer machine but uh yeah man we're about to go ahead and get started on this and uh he's actually a, a fellow subscriber so you know this business off of off of youtube is really like crazy all right so a little update on progress i usually don't show the mishaps and shit that happened here but i'll go ahead and uh let y'all in on a little information while i'm still here trying to get this off so these aluminum lug nuts they're not good he didn't have the key for it uh in the beginning so i had a key that matched for it and uh the head of that bitch broke off because whoever put these on over torqued them and uh that motherfucker was not spinning at all this side i broke these by hand and the other side i had to fucking use a breaker bar just to get leverage enough to even spin these bitches and break the other five the other five broke fine but that one on the bottom uh yeah that bitch is done for and uh it broke my lug nut key and it took the head off of it so now i'm probably gonna have to try to find a nut buster or uh i'm gonna try to avoid drilling all else fails i'm gonna just have to have him take it to a wheel's place so i don't fuck the wheel up trying to get it off because i can get it off but it's not gonna be the way that he would want to get that bitch off so i'm gonna let the professionals handle that shit and uh we got a, another Silverado haven't seen this in a while but um yeah we're doing a little maintenance on it just making sure uh, the front end is all good and tight um, he's been having some issues with uh, vibration or uh, a bad knock and this is the reason why right here so with the diff drop bracket there is no bolt on this side so it's basically kicking the whole fucking axle and 
uh, diff back into the back of the lift and yeah you can kind of see it a little bit i got the brake caliper in the way but yeah this bolt is causing a lot of havoc um i had a concern that it was the hubs just because these are 16 wides but it wasn't the hubs so uh about to go ahead and get this bolt put in here and uh put everything back together tighten up everything and uh just get everything back together maintenance wise so that way i can get him rolling out of here so he can go get some new tires but uh other than that man everything is uh pretty good everything checked out good so we're just waiting on the uh parts he's going to go get those now not gonna put any names out but the guy took it to a shop to get a hub put in and uh just check around on everything and they put the lug nuts on too damn tight which led to one stud already breaking and i did not take these bitches off with an impact this shit was all with hand tools and everything so yeah that one's done and then this one you can see in here is rounded to fuck so he's getting new studs for the adapters now so that way uh we can put this shit all back together and he can get riding again but big thing man watch who you take your truck to because a lot of these motherfuckers they just like to do it fast it's like a production environment these guys got to get shit done quick and uh you know i take my time with everything make sure everything's done the right way so i mean if you can find somebody who knows what they're doing uh that can do it at home or at a shop that they have at home take it to them because these shops man they do not give a fuck about how your shit is whenever it leaves as long as they get the job done and they get paid for it anything that happens afterwards they don't want to take responsibility for he tried to question him about it asking if he he said how do you know if it's cross-threaded well we're fucking taking it apart and it's cross-threaded all right so no progress made on the ford uh the lug was yeah i tried nut busters i tried a whole bunch of shit and i don't want to drill into this because i know it's going to take me fucking all day long all right so got the uh new body up and running again uh got the uh diff moved off of the cross member so we just took it on a little test drive and everything looked good and it drives good so i'm about to go and uh pick up gramps wheels and uh just take this on a little test drive because he wanted me to try to go see if i can get an alignment while i'm down there so i'm gonna go ahead and knock that out and then uh like i said on the uh ford he's gonna be coming to pick it back up here they are x with uh 37 pioneers that's all i'm gonna show y'all for right now until they get mounted tomorrow but uh the stars and the cylinders coming along pretty much almost done with it uh so hopefully by the time next week comes he can get his tune and then uh get the stars and the cylinder put in and then we'll be rocking out at the show next weekend uh if he can make it i'm gonna still be out there uh regardless uh i'll be out there next week for the show uh i think it's april 25th at rockingham dragway um so if you want to come and check the truck out i'll be out there um probably some of my members will be rolling out pretty deep out there so uh it's a thorpe money show i'll put the flyer here you know we'll be posted probably just chilling uh, i like going to the shows and just seeing shit and uh look at these big bitches over here finish this one up don't know if i showed y'all or not already but took it on test drive and it rides way better so about to uh wrap everything up and we'll be done as far as uh work today goes all right so today we got a uh, dodge ram that i'm going to be putting eight rock lights on uh these are pretty easy because it's got the plastic fender liners and you can just rip them right out uh the only thing is just trying to figure out where to uh put the rock lights that way they're not hitting on any of that shit up there so i'm gonna probably do a quick mock-up make sure that uh everything fits but i'm gonna go ahead and uh start installing these so finally put gramp set up on this bitch look good Thirty-seven pioneers, twenty-six by fourteen axis. I think this is the best wheel and tire setup on this truck so far. About to be going up in a couple weeks. The lift will be gone. We'll be getting some work in. But hopefully, I had a stars and ceiling done by the end of the week, and then we'll be popping out at Rockingham. We sliding, bro.
We out, man. We out. Coming for all F-150. <laughs> oh, God. The boy Berto done pulled up on a new setup. <laughs> he said he ain't capping no more. <laughs> Shit look good, though. New setup look good as hell. Follow my mans. Yeah, this bitch clean as fuck. And he got the FTS on that bitch. Painted with the Fox shocks. Sticker still on them bitches. Alright, so we got the rock lights doing. Pretty simple to wire these up. Didn't need to have too many extensions, but they looking good. And everything's tucked away. Can't really see any wires at all. <laughs> Wish it was nighttime. You could kind of see them better, but they're all on. They're all working. <laughs> so, yeah, man. But uh, that'll probably be it for this video. And then um, probably pick back up tomorrow. And nigga Banks done got caddy lights. Can't go wrong with the caddies, man. Caddies just make a Tahoe look 10 times better. That bitch fire. I fuck with that. But yeah, man. We just getting it done as always.